Oh, well. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Astoria Film Festival. Please just tell us your names uh, and your film. My name is Melissa and I'm the director of Contagious. My name is Anna Betteridge and I'm the choreographer for Contagious. And it's such a beautiful and powerful film with a powerful story, which is why we wanted to talk to you guys today. So can you please um, give us a little bit more about the background of the film and how it came to be? Yeah, uh, the film actually started as a piece of choreography that I made for myself. Um, and the film is essentially a an exploration of the stages of grief that follow sexual assault or sexual trauma. Um, and so I built a little piece of choreography to sort of just work what I, through what I was going through and um, dig into some of those feelings and explore what was there. Um, and I found it to be really helpful and really healing in that time. Um, and then Melissa and I got together with the shared experience and we're like, it would be really cool to see what would happen if we contacted other survivors who are also artists and see what we can make from this idea. And how did you then make it into a film? Because I know through the festival, you know, dance pieces often, either you go to a film school and find somebody or you kind of watch a lot of YouTube videos. Like what was your process? So my background is primarily in theater as well as Anna and mm -hmm. Anna has a strong background in dance as well. Uh, so we had no real, knowledge of, of film until a few years ago. Um, but we did work on another also movement-based short film two or two years ago uh, and learned so much from our friends who did know about film. And it was such a great learning experience for us. And so this time we, we decided to try to take on that end of things ourselves, yeah. uh, which was challenging. And but it was really great because it it challenged us to ask for help when we needed it. And and meet new people through that and connect with new people mm -hmm. and so we've learned so much and we're just excited to learn more how how is it like um kind of putting that all out there and then you know involving people in that story when it's such a private kind of um you know emotional experience like does it help to put it out there i guess is the question I think it does. Yeah. Yeah. I think something we found uh, with this group of people, some of them are, are people we've known for a few years from college, and then a good deal of them we met through this process. And we really just connected, even though, you know, we never outright yeah discussed the 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 details the details the, yeah. of everything. Mm -hmm. But there was just this understanding that we could talk about through the nuance and we couldn't wait to share that with other people. It was like we, it was giving us and them, I think a chance to explore that nuance and and put it into their own words without yeah, words. Yeah, yeah, there was something yes. about the power of like having a group of us. Mm -hmm. um, like when it was just the two of us, it was like, are we gonna make this film and tell people this thing? And like, yeah. is this gonna be a thing? And then when there was 20 of us in a room, it was like, whoa, we have to share this. Absolutely. I think that's where like, it's just so overwhelmingly powerful. Yeah. And, and that's, I think where it comes from is like everybody just being ready to share and ready yeah. to, mm -hmm. to stand firm. You know, it, yeah. it's a gorgeous yeah. thing. It really is. Do you guys still keep in touch? Are you, is it, is it an ongoing group at this point now? Yes, we, we do keep in touch. We made some, some good friends through that process yeah. and people hopefully get to work with on more projects in the future. It, it, we really built a, a, a community in mm -hmm. that room. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, that's what we found out that this piece is really about, you know, it is about exploring that grief and, and how it's so nuanced, but it, when it comes down to it, it's really about how there's so much strength in that community. Absolutely. And do you, you know, can we find a class that you'll be teaching on it in the future? Is that something people can join if they want that same experience? Well, Anna does teach uh, Yeah, I would hope so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I teach um, all of my information is on my Instagram at a betterography. Um, a lot of what I teach is movement um, based in improv and based in like psychological prompts. Um, yep. I, I like to call it like contemporary dance for musical theater because um, yeah. it's always very narrative driven. But um, I don't know. I like to feel like the movement that I give people could help them dig into something that's new for them. That's like not really, a lot of the choreo we worked with was like, here's something I made, 
but that's not what it means. And that's not really what it's going to look like in your body. And that's, it's going to change because Mm. you're doing it. And so a lot of my classes are driven in that way as well. Yeah. Yeah. We hope in the future to continue to connect with people through this film and, Mm -hmm. and through this type of of work. I think it's really important and I do too. It's just been great to have that open space to explore. Oh yeah. Mm. I think it takes, you you know, it it just takes something painful and makes it beautiful and strong and not obviously not the the experience, but the outcome is that you are still beautiful and strong. And I like to think of it as the the trauma itself is so ugly and you Mm. want to forget it, but the way you rebuild yourself and and build new parts of yourself is the beautiful part and that's what makes you strong Mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely and I just I could see this going getting big you know what I mean I could see this really helping a lot of people because so many of us have been through the same situation and how do you process that trauma and I think movement processes trauma so well storytelling and movement so like here you've got that all going on it's a really helpful thing so I hope to see more and more of it thank you thank you so what are you guys up to nowadays what do you what's your current projects look like yeah we have a couple of of little projects in the works um yeah yeah little like dreamy dream short films little dreams that we have <laughs> Um, I'm currently in like the heap of the school year. I teach little kids dance and theater. So that's happening. Um, and we're in conversation actually with one of our actors, Griffin Lockett. Um, she is like wonderful. She's an amazing part of this. She's wonderful to collaborate with. And she is like, Hey, what are we making next? Um, so it's like in conversation, in conversation, a couple little ideas for the next definitely thing. some movement based stuff uh we got the the bite for original music that was something that we were so scared to explore and we're so grateful for our cast members who had so much knowledge there mm. um and that, that's something I think we're excited to continue to explore you know having that original music gives so much more freedom to what we mm. can even do mm-hmm. with our work um Absolutely. so I think that's something we're continue uh excited to continue exploring yeah yeah and which of you is the musician uh, we both play a little bit. I'm a, we're both singers. Yeah. Um, we both learned how to play a little bit of ukulele in the past year. Um, yeah. Yeah. Our, uh, our composers for the film uh, were Joelle Montoya, um, who did the singing. That is actually her song that oh, she wow. wrote, Mr. Blue. And yeah, she, she, uh, she rolled into the audition and was like, I wrote this song. <laughs> and we were like, whoa come be in this and then it was like I think this is the whole film (laughs) Um, and then Valerie Marchese um, who is like a wonderful mover and actually like full-time grant writer does not do dance really anymore um, came to us through our fundraiser and was like hey like I love this and I used to dance and I also happen to play bass and they got (laughs) together and like just built insanity in one of their apartments and they would like we're going to go to the apartment and they were like blowing sounds through paper towel rolls and like banging on pots and pans and like coming back to us with like gorgeous stuff again and again and it was like whoa we have to use original music we have to use their brains here it was like really cool to work with them yeah yeah it's beautiful how organic it all was you know like that it just came when it's meant to be it's meant to be and then all the pieces kind of fall in place that's kind of lovely Mm -hmm. that's really how and that's not typically how projects feel but that's how this project really felt like it kind of just the path kind of formed itself in front of us right we just had to yeah it was like a jump almost do it yeah 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 well I am so grateful that you submitted it I'm so grateful I I got to see it um, and I hope to see more from you and I hope you continue working in this arena, which you obviously are because it's just so needed and you're so wonderful. So thank you for what you're doing. Thank you so thank much you. for having yeah. us. And if you have any, like, um, you gave your handle before, but if you have websites or handles you want to share, I can put yes. them under you. So. so the Instagram for our film is contagious underscore film. You can also find the link to our website, uh, in our bio there. Uh, and then you have your yeah friend. and then my instagram is a dot betterography um and i have info for my classes and some of the work that we're making together and i'm making myself and you can find it all there love it 
thank you guys so much. Thank you. So we much. appreciate you being a part of the festival very much. So thank you. Thank you.